What is up, players? It's Warboss Tay up in this mug. I'm so happy with my progress for today. They actually look like fully painted models now. In fact, they're pretty close to finished. Once I do the bases, I've got maybe a couple of extra highlighting steps to do for, for a few of these. I know I gotta get to the details on the flag and uh, some of the skin can be highlighted up and uh, I definitely wanna do transfers on the shoulder armors and stuff. But I'm really, really pleased with how these Cadian Shock Troopers look. I'm really, really pleased. So, okay, my day 18 uh, question of the day is uh, talk about a positive hobby experience that you had. It could be old, it could be new. Um, I want to just shout out some of the old participants of the painting challenges. I was talking to a girl painting on my live stream last night, and we we're talking about how back when we were first starting to make YouTube videos, there weren't really any big big YouTubers that were doing this hobby. You didn't have your Squid Mars and your Miniacs and your Ninjons doing video tutorials where you could actually see the brush strokes. You had people painting out of their garage, out of their art room um, with, you know, just very basic minimum setup and um, doing it for the love. And that's what we missed. So uh, I want to shout out those hobbyists that were taking part in the summer painting challenges way back when I first started. People who were um, answering the daily questions and just paving the way forward for so many people. Even if uh, you're not around anymore and uh, some people I actually tried to look up on YouTube and I haven't been able to find their channels. They might have deleted uh, their entire library, which is so sad. But um, if you are still out there watching these videos, then uh, I tip my hat to you. I, I saw Mikey's miscasts actually in the Discord and that made me super happy. And reconnecting with people like Mr. Secondaries and uh, Miko Maz, who have been um, watching my videos for so long, and uh, people who I've been fortunate enough to affect positively over the years. I was talking to a girl painting about it last night, and we were both saying, this is why we do it. You know, this is why we set up our cameras and we go through the the time sink and the chore of uh, getting everything perfect so you can have a good well shot video where you clearly show a technique or you explain a color scheme and um, this is why we do it for people to get inspired if one person gets inspired from my videos and goes out and clicks my affiliate link down below in the description and picks up uh, Cadian Stan's box set and starts painting up Cadian and uh, builds an Astro Militarum army that uh, impresses everybody in the hobby store and makes them feel really good about it, makes them think, oh, I can do it. I saw Warboss Tay do it in a month. I can do it. I can do anything. Then that's the greatest feeling in the world as a YouTuber to inspire someone to go off on this journey. So um, that also good, speaks to why people watch videos on YouTube. Uh, everybody comes to YouTube with a need, whether they know it or not, and they're looking for content to address that need. So I feel like my tutorials help that. If somebody wants to know how to paint something, hopefully I've got a video showing off either that uh, model or that technique. And I hope if you are just looking to be motivated to put a project up, then my summer painting challenges help fulfill that need as well. All right, players, uh, that's enough talking for me. I'm gonna go rest my voice. But day 18 was such a great, great productive day for me. I hope all of you are doing well out there. Check out the Discord because uh, there are some great projects that are just rolling along and pumping out some amazing miniatures. Uh, doing amazing work, that's what it's all about. So I'm really glad I'm on this journey. I'm glad you're with me. And uh, like I said, if you wanna support the studio, the affiliate link will give me a, a little bit of support there. So uh, thank you for that if you do check out that uh, Kadia Stands box set. And remember, it's at a super huge discount. Uh, getting Kadia Stands retail cost me $200, over $200. And you could pick yours up for the price of a Combat Patrol box. So you get the same models, but you also get that beautiful hardcover art book. <laughs> it's gonna be an art book, it's a codex right now, but that thing is gonna be an art book pretty soon once 10th comes out. There's gonna be a bunch of pretty pictures that happens to have some words crammed in there. And um, get that Kadia Stands box for yourself. Then embark on the journey, replicate my project, and uh, have a good time. Thanks for watching everybody, see you in the next video. Laters!